Tonight, we're highlighting a group that works every day to celebrate and inspire local women. So it started as a small group online, and now it's an entire movement. KSHB 41 News reporter Megan Abundance introduces us to Innovate Her KC. What started as a small Facebook group in 2018 continues to grow into a large service group focused on women and leadership. Every month, more than 200 members join in. Its founder says it's all about connecting women from marginalized groups. From online <laughs> to in person, Innovate Her is centered around women's professional development, resource sharing, and mentorship. There's this misconception out there that women are forced to be competitive in spaces and I have found the exact opposite through Innovator. I have found a community of 5,200 women who all they want to do is support each other and uplift each other. Lauren Conaway says she's helped connect people who wouldn't normally meet. Many women have found have found employment through Innovator. Um, many women have been contracted or have have provided services through Innovator. Um, I mean, really, the possibilities are endless. Job postings, roundtables. They say it's also led to breaking race barriers in several industries. I went to other wedding planners that look nothing like me. Um, unfortunately, um, they didn't want a partnership with me, so I had to create my own space. The, the resources, the support. Lanisha Frazier has seen it work. Entrepreneurship is like a walk in the park, Jurassic Park, because it's so many. From hosting pop-ups to experiencing shutdowns, years of trying to make it work, to now landing a midtown brick and mortar. Frazier says that's women's history, and this group helped. To see that dream, my dream baby, come to life and to be able to walk into those doors and go, this is it, this is, this is bliss. Just to show you the reach this group has, we also met with teenage girls today, a part of the group who says Innovate Her has helped them build confidence and find independence. I'm Megan Abundas, KSHB 41 News.